I, you know, I'm const- I'll go into the grave shouting, you know, or saying rather, and suggesting that people get some morning sunlight in their eyes to set their circadian rhythm. Um, but far viewing a few, at least a few minutes and ideally hours per day, or a mixture of near and far viewing by being outdoors just seems like a good thing to do regardless of age. So are there any data in older people, not necessarily elderly, but older people. So um, people in their, uh, from say 25 years of age into their sixties or seventies that getting outdoors and getting this full spectrum light is healthy for the eye in ways that are separate from the known healthy effects of doing that on circadian rhythm setting. Yeah. Yeah. The circadian parts pretty clear. The, in most patient, in most, in most people, the ne- the development of nearsightedness happens a lot until age ten, little more through age twenty, little more than that into the th- in, in, you know in through the twenties up to thirty, tiny bit in the thirties up to forty, but usually by those later ages, your prescription might be changing a quarter of a diopter. That's the measurement that we use when we, you know, give you your glasses prescription, a quarter of a diopter, half a diopter. It could get a half diopter more nearsighted or less nearsighted, you know, once you're aging into your 40s, 50s and beyond. So most of the action on nearsightedness development is actually really happening in the younger ages. So again, the the premise of intervening in an older person, and I'll just include you and me and older people for the sake of this definition, as much as I'm reticent to do that in general, um, I think the the, the premise of, inc- of, a, of of sort of light modulation for nearsightedness in older people is probably probably not so strong. I think there are a lot of other benefits. You've talked a lot about circadian rhythm. There are so many health benefits to exercise, and you know if you're getting outdoors, there's a good chance you're going to be walking or bicycling. You know, so so exercise value for the health of our eyes and the rest of our body is clearly there. Um, but I don't know that there's really a, a strong premise that you're going to change your glasses prescription, you know, in our 40s or 50s or, or beyond.